Alright guys, we are back. It's Elio once again here with another character review video. So in today's video, we have the ultra rare version of Nellie L, uh, who is a vermilion bird. Do keep that in mind. And I do believe she's one of the sages, actually, which will correlate with the um, soul hall. So do keep that in mind. But let's go ahead and get this review started. Alright, so we can see that she's a specialty type here, and she has a whole bunch of things added to her. Uh, attacker, back row killer, high damage, and control. So hopefully, she lives up to people's expectations, and what better way to find out those expectations other than looking at the skills. So for her combo skill, Smash, it deals damage to a single enemy and ignores 50% of the target's defense. That already sounds great. I definitely enjoy that already. And then it deals additional damage to the target equal to 30% of Nelliel's attack multiplied by the number of bleed stacks on the target. And then Nelliel restores HP equal to the damage dealt in this way and there's a 15% chance to stun the target for one round. That is a whole bunch of stuff going on here in one move. So not only does her move ignore 50% of the target's defense right off the bat, if that target somehow already has bleed applied to them, well, they're going to get a bonus of 30% of Nelio's attack um, added, uh, added onto that damage, and she also heals from that attack, and she can also stun them. So she's basically ignoring defense, she can apply stun, she can apply additional damage, and heal herself by, I'm assuming, a little bit if that works out. So that's crazy as just a combo skill. That's kind of the stuff, that, that's the stuff that I like to see, boys. That is the stuff I like to see. I wouldn't say that this is OP, but it's it's pretty damn good. It's pretty damn good. And let's go over here to her rage skill. Um, Lanzador, Lanzador Verde, uh, this deals damage to all enemies to all enemies so all six units plus an addi additional 120 percent in bonus damage to the primary target so i guess whatever unit that you are currently attacking with her or whatever unit it's you know the cursor is left on will also receive that bonus damage so do keep that in mind especially if you're using her in a manual situation and then it adds bleeding to the enemies to the enemy target for two rounds and has a 40 percent chance to stun so not only is she rocking both bleed well actually she's only rocking stun on her combo skill but her rage skill literally sets herself up for the combo skill to do more damage in the event that you didn't have any other unit is doing bleed but obviously we can already tell that bleed and Nellyel go together quite nicely and i think that's pretty much it oh and if there's only one enemy on the battlefield this attack deals 20 percent of Nellyel's current hp and damage oh my goodness dude like this move literally does not end does not end so it's an aoe move if that target is whatever target that has the cursor on it it's going to take 100 120 percent in bonus damage it also adds bleeding uh there's a chance for it to stun and if it's one single target up there they also get another uh hit of damage stacked onto the damage already which is 20 percent of nelio's current current hp that is just disgusting absolutely disgusting that's 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 a, a a damn good rage skill and then for her uh three star skill or her her third skill slot is just attack strength and up which is nice because of course bleed does scale up her attack and if with an aoe rage skill is always nice to have a whole bunch of attack and then for her fourth star which is her passive the guardian uh when in battle inflicts bleed on all enemies for two rounds so the battle starts right off and even without anyone attacking and anyone getting their combo skill off, she's already applied bleed to everyone. So she literally sets herself up for her combo skill, which go then goes into her rage skill. And if you're lucky, once again, go back to her combo skill. That is a blessing. A hundred percent blessing. Then after releasing a rage skill, the damage rate of all allies is increased by two rounds. And the ally with the lowest HP receives an additional damage bonus for one round. At the start of battle, Nelio's effect accuracy is permanently increased by 10% for each Vermilion Bird on the field, up to 3, up to 30%. That's actually pretty hefty, even only at level 1. I mean, definitely not game breaking by any means, but just having Bleed right off the bat and with good RNG starting off with her combo skill, you're already to a great start. So I wouldn't say that this version of Nelio by any means is something just to shake your head at. This is actually pretty crazy in terms of skills but let's go over here to her war soul next
All right, so right before we wrap it up, let's go over here and check out her Heroic War Soul real quick. Uh, increases all characters effect accuracy by 3% and then of course double uh, double HP and uh, PvP This isn't like a I have to immediately do this But if you're already gonna invest in Neliel, there's really no excuse as to why you shouldn't especially in a PvP situation with that 100% uh, boost of her HP and 3% accuracy isn't that much but like I've stated before in my recent videos Guys, like, we have a whole bunch of characters in this game. Like, I think I have, like, 45 right now. Imagine if all of your characters had maxed out Heroic War Souls. Those effects, especially for different characters that have a same effect or very similar effect, is going to stack up. 3% isn't a lot now, but what if I max out a couple more units in the future and that 3% turns into 10 and 15%? That's when you're going to make all kinds of gains. All kinds of gains but I mean it's not something I would immediately focus on but if you already plan to use Nelly L especially as you raise her up why not just go ahead and do it I mean there's no downside to that in my opinion and for her talent it increases all characters healing received by 1% nothing amazing I'm not sure how much this goes up to even if it's 5% I mean that's 5% more healing no real complaints there nothing wrong with that just having the extra shards especially for ultra rares is ultra hard dude that's the only issue here like I would just invest in her well in terms of promotion before I would do that but let's go back over here to the profile real quick I would say overall um she's a fine unit I mean she's definitely one of the best vermilion birds if not the best vermilion bird right now and she is one of the sages I do believe well at least that's what I've heard so I mean she's a strong vermilion bird unit Obviously, with the whole change up, people may have kind of changed up their team compositions. So, if she's someone that you can incorporate into your squad, then she's definitely someone I would have. Um, I do hope to get her to four stars, even with Omni Shards, just to make her more usable, especially with that passive. Because we all know, unless a character has their fourth skill slot, which is their passive, they're not really optimal by no means. By no means. Even three star Neliel, I'm not even considered using until I end up getting her to four stars, but I'm not sure if I would ever go past that limit right now, at least for ultra rares, unless she somehow makes another debut or uh, I can pick up her weapon. That's probably what I'll actually wait for, like her her weapon, if possible. But yeah, that's pretty much Neliel. Um, once again, I wouldn't say that she's OP, but I would definitely say that she's a very good Vermilion Bird, and I'm interested to see what the game will produce next, because these Ultra Rares are just, they're getting ultra insane, you guys. But anyways, I, think, I, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.